day. From Ford Field in Detroit. It's week four of the NFL on EA Sports. Detroit Lions taking on Deshaun Watson and the New Orleans Saints. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375, that's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New Orleans Saints and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. Zane Gonzalez. Set. Here's the kicker, Zane Gonzalez, ready to get this one started. And we are underway from Ford Field. Here's Nicole Hardman. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. On the return. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. Leading them out there, two-time Pro Bowl quarterback in his fourth season now from Clemson, Deshaun Watson. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And the Saints first down. Out of the gun, Watson. This one complete to Nicole Hardman. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. A good pickup there, eight yards on the first down completion. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works the defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. First carry for Nick Chubb. And he's got the first down yardage there as he takes it just across midfield. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the opening drive, couldn't do it. I know that we go into these meetings with coaches, and sometimes maybe we can get, you know, a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is, aren't they? Offense and defense. In this case, one capitalized, and the other, as you said, had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done. They run again on first down, Chubb. And check on the numbers for Chubb from a week ago. 17 carries, 89 yards. He's been a huge part of their winning streak because he establishes not just an identity and a tone, but the team relies on it. He takes care of the football, he gains yardage for him, chews up clock, and that's been a big part of why they're winning games lately. Fighting him off. He'll get about four here, down to the 43-yard line. Now I think we're going to get a timeout here. Yes, a timeout here as it looks like we've got a lion that's shaken up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. From the gun, here's Watson. He is going to find Hill here. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. 
Nice job keeping that opening drive alive, and they're in plus territory, that part of the field where you really want to convert on third down. They did. Big time pickup for them, and now I think the aggressive play callers think to themselves, this part of the field, I take my shot at the end zone because the closer you get to the end zone, the field can, gets condensed. Makes it a lot tougher to run those routes. You still got a chance to actually run past people right now. Take your shot at the end zone early in the down and distance count. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And it's second down. Throwing again is Watson. And he's going to go down. They get to him back at the 40. Antoine Woods busting through to get him for a loss of six. Enough takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Gonna need something special here on third and long. After that sack, what does Watson have in his arsenal? A shotgun snap for Watson. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's going to get this to the 31, but that is still well short of what he needed. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Now Harrison Butker for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 48. And his kick is absolutely perfect. His kick and the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. Saints 3, Lions nothing. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of the team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. So here are the Lions now as they get set for their opening drive. And they'll be led out by their veteran quarterback in season number 16 of the NFL. It's Ryan Fitzpatrick. He's one of those guys that's been around the block a few times in the NFL. And at this stage in his career, when he lacks a big playability, he more than makes up for it in veteran leadership, a real knowledge of the game, and being a terrific locker room presence. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, give him 14. First and 10 at the 36-yard line. Play fake, it's Fitzpatrick. a first-time pro bowler, the intended target. But it'll be second down. He was covered by Kevin Byers. To throw again, Fitzpatrick. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Bradley Chubb doing what he does best, getting that sack. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Third and long, Fitzpatrick following the sack. What can he and the gang come up with? From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. And a little coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the corner, Bradley Roby. And they have possession, and they have it at the 38-yard line. Well, you could just see this one coming, couldn't you? It's an obvious passing situation, third and long. The defense is going to bring in two more defensive backs and say, you want to throw? Go ahead. We dare you. And there's just no one open anywhere as they come away with the interception. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. 
And he winds up getting only a couple there, down to the 29. Ronald Jones, the ball carrier. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. A gain of two brings up third and less. Watson on third down. Able to find Walter. That's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And stepped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give them the yardage that they needed, but they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. Saints three, Lions nothing. They'll try and run it in with Jones, and he's going to get this back to the three yard line and no further. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. No gain. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Touchdown. Nick Chubb, his first touchdown on the year. And the Saints add on to their lead. They were able to stop him at the line on first down, but this time he punches his way through. And sometimes just because you're stopped on the first run, it doesn't mean the play call was bad or incorrect. You might just need better execution and just a tad more determination, and they got it done on the second try. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll increase their lead to 10 zip. A drive that time of six plays. And Nick Chubb, the one to finish it off, as he does so with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he won't quite make it to the 25. At their own 24-yard line. Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. Nothing for them yet from an offensive standpoint. Down 10 zip as they come up first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And oh, he took that in one-handed. What a grab. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards, picking up the first. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They run here with Jason Huntley. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. A gain of two. Brings up second and eight. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. A short throw caught by Andrews. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Mark Andrews. That's a gain of four. Brings up third and five. Throwing Fitzpatrick. That is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What well, they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. 
Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower his center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. Chubb. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Nick Chubb. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. If this defense wants to stay in this ball game, they've got to start ending some drives. That helps. And they have to look ahead at what they expect the offense to do. And right now with that lead, that's run the football. So you don't just stack the line of scrimmage. You have to get upfield and try and make some plays in their backfield. Throwing on second down, Watson, and he will find his man on the outside. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. 15 yards on the play, first down. First down. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius, understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball, and puts it right out there for the nice pickup. First and 10, Watson gets this one to Hill. And he'll be down at the 46. So they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. To throw again on second down, Watson. There goes a deep ball, end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. Tyreek Hill. His fourth touchdown on the year. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? Yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But usually what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. There it results in a touchdown. Butker on for the PAT. He's got it, and it's 17-0. Five plays there on that drive. And it ends with a touchdown for New Orleans. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And the results for them have not been strong to this point. Two drives have ended in a turnover and then a punt. So would it be too snarky for me to say that they've shown improvement? Because you had two, two drives with turnovers. <laughs> now they punted it away, so at least they didn't turn it over. So that's good, right? You're going to get some angry users <laughs> reaching out to you on social media. Well, I don't mean to be. I was actually looking for the positive. Silver lining, you know. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Now the former fourth round pick, it's Cannon Balazs. And once more, this play going in the wrong direction. The Saints get to him behind the line again. They go backwards there two yards, and second and one is now third and three. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. And for the Saints here on third down, an extra defensive back on the field. Now Huntley. 
And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. They're able to convert with a gain of four. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. As they come up on first and ten. They'll run it here with Huntley. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. He's brought down there by Kenny Moore. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Brings up third down and seven. On third down, Fitzpatrick. And able to find Kirk complete. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. They'll get 17 that time, and the Lions have a first down. Thus far, it hasn't been a real fun half for them, but a play like that, that may get them off the schneid a little bit, get them loosened up and moving. Kind of seems like they've been sleepwalking and still sitting on zero points. And it's not always making an adjustment. Sometimes it's just going back to what you know can work and finally getting it done. On first and 10, Fitzpatrick. Now they'll set up the screen to Huntley. That will go as a pickup of seven on the seventh play of the drive. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll throw again, Fitzpatrick. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Ninth play of the drive coming up and certainly not an easy one on third and long. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. Open man is Kirk, complete. And he's got this down to the 35. And the Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Fitzpatrick on first down. That's complete. It's Jason Huntley. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Jason Huntley. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. <laughs> Operating from the gun, Fitzpatrick. And this is caught. A spectacular one-handed grab there. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. So we reach halftime in what's been a fairly one-sided game so far. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a back and forth first half. Who can put it together in the second half? For the answer, we turn it back over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 24-yard line. 
The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. Two yards on the pickup. It's second and eight at the 26-yard line. Throwing on second and eight. Fitzpatrick and on the slant, able to find Ayuk. He was held without a catch in the first half, but he's got one here, and he also picks up a first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. I think that was good strategy there, trying to go right back to him after the last completion. But this time, the defense was all over him, and they got there to break that one up. Fitzpatrick throwing complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. On third and one, here's Fitzpatrick. Got his man, that's Harry. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. First and two. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. They'll run here with Balazs. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. Brought down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 25-yard line. 25-yard line. They run it with Balazs. They'll be brought down at the 21 after a pickup of four. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six at the 21-yard line. They'll stay on the ground. Balazs again. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Third and three. Operating from the gun. Fitzpatrick. Open man is IU complete. And the Lions are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They looked like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. one as they're backed up five for first and goal from the gun Fitzpatrick this will be caught at about the six and it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six that'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five well they're unable to convert that into much but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause Balazs, and that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. 
a gain of three yards. It's now third and operating from the gun. Fitzpatrick. Fourth down after the New Orleans defense holds serve. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Zane now Zane Gonzalez for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Gonzalez's kick is good. And they're on the board at least here. It's now 17 to 3. Lions 3. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. So here are the Saints to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. First down, it's Watson. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. So second and ten now here in the third quarter from Detroit. Second ten. Throwing again. Watson looking for him again. This time it's complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. A big change in field position there. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. We know play callers can be very creative in this game today, but sometimes when they've got receivers with speed like this, they don't need to design incredibly complex calls. Sometimes it's just get the ball in his hands and let him do his thing. In a sense, less can become more, and it was right there. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now a pass that's taken in by Hill. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. Now Green, oh, staying on the ground. Let's hope he's all right. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Watson on first down. And he's going to go down. He sacked back at the 24. Lawrence got able to get in there and drop him for a loss. And we say it all the time, have to be able to get rid of the ball sooner than that. You have to help your offensive line out. They're going to protect you as best they can. And if you're getting three to five seconds to throw the ball, they're doing a really nice job. But when you hold it and give up a sack, you're really almost discrediting their work. So after the sack, they'll come up on a still manageable second and 13. Another try after the first down sack. Watson, that one complete to Hill. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. It's a gain of six, and it's third down. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and seven. A run for Nick Chubb. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. Four yards on the pickup there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. A gain of four yards. It's now fourth down.
So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. For the field goal, a 31-yard attempt. Butker's kick here is good. And that'll push the lead up to 17. Saints 20, Lions 3. So with that, you figure now this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? Detroit's offense ready to take over. And just looking ahead, it would appear that that bye week is coming at the right time. They'll have two weeks to chew on this one. They'll probably not one that they want to chew on. A poor performance from start to finish. First down, Fitzpatrick. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. It's a pickup of six. Brings up second and From the gun, Fitzpatrick. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Andrews. Four yards the pickup, first down. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Operating from the gun, Fitzpatrick, and nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away, and it's second down. To throw again, Fitzpatrick, and that is incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Mark Andrews, there, but now it'll be third down. To the air again, Fitzpatrick. Looking for Ayuk, and he's got him. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. And they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. Uh, being just short of midfield, they decide to take a crack at it on fourth down. They don't come through. Sometimes it's just showing confidence in your defense. You know that they're good, and they'll take care of you. A lot of coaches during the week will announce to their team, we're going to be aggressive, guys. We're going to go for it. Hey, defense, you got me? <laughs> a little bit of a challenge to them to see if they'll pick up the rest of the team. We'll see how they respond now. And he's got some space here. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. Well, when you're able to break a run against a cover two or a two deep zone, safeties are back a little ways. What you're counting on is the guys taking care of business up front and then maybe climbing to the second level, that offensive lineman or tight end getting up to the second level and able to block the safety in order to create a big run. Yeah, making those linemen work with a couple blocks. They look good doing it there. Now a first down throw, Watson. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's second down and 10. Back to the air. Watson on second down. Open man is Hill. He's got it. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. Third down. Throwing on third down. Watson. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping him from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. And no move to get the offense off the field. They'll stay put on fourth and one. They'll go with Jones. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. Watson. Touchdown, New Orleans. 
Miko Hardman, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Saints now add six to their lead. A lot of people might call this backyard football. Sometimes just understanding who you've got out wide and who you're going to throw it to. Give him an opportunity to go up and make a play, even when contested. Looks like that one worked out pretty well. The trust factor, in effect. Butker now to add the extra point. And the lead is now 24. That time, a six-play drive. And it all culminates in the Saints' touchdown. Three. Harris now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Here's the Detroit offense now as they head back out onto the field. And last time this unit was out here, costly turnover, and then that turned into six points. They've got to make amends. And how many times have we sat in meetings with coaches and they use the term complimentary football? <laughs> offense take care of the defense, defense take care of the offense. That didn't happen on the last possession. This is a chance for them to pick themselves back up and help their team. Yeah, we'll see if they can recoup and recover. The drive starting with a first down, 11 yards on that pickup. The 35-yard line. From the gun, Fitzpatrick. And that'll be incomplete. He was looking for the rookie, Brandon Ayuk. And that'll bring up second down. Darius Slay on the coverage. Throwing again. Fitzpatrick. Over the middle, complete. That's Andrews. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. That's a gain of seven. Brings up third and three. Third and short yardage, Fitzpatrick. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Andrews. And he is going to have a Lions first down, and he's going to have it by plenty. Able to get eight yards there on third and two. That was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Fitzpatrick again. Oh, that was dangerous. Fitzpatrick Threw it into coverage, almost picked, but instead they'll keep it on second down. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And he showed off the athletic juice. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. Third and one. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. Again, it's Fitzpatrick. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. It'll be a pickup of four. Good enough to earn him yet another first down. 35-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Fitzpatrick. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cam Hayward, always a force, got back there for the sack. Got a man open, that's Harry. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. Working out of the gun, Fitzpatrick. That's complete to his receiver, Ayuk. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And he's going to have the hook up here with Harry. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Three yards the game there, second down. A three-yard pickup. They'll throw again, Fitzpatrick. Over the middle, complete. That's Andrews. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. Catch is made by Harry. 
And he'll be brought down with the first down and a late flag here, too. And he may get a few more tacked on for good measure. To give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now after the face mask penalty, here's first and goal. Fitzpatrick. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a Now Fitzpatrick hit. It's out. He lost the football. The Saints say they have it, and they do. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, Same. down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And it would seem as if their three-game winning streak is about to go to four, but still a little work to do as they start first and ten. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal, in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets, defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal? That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for New Orleans, hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they will head home next week to take on the L.A. Chargers. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they'll drop down to 1-3. And, and fortunately for them, they'll have the early bye next week as they return to action in Week 6. I'm Brandon Gunn. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.